हेलो फ्रेंड्स बिकम एग्री बिजनेस एंड क्वालिटी एक्सपर्ट इन हंड्रेड डेज फ्रेंड्स अंडर दिस सीरीज टुडे इज माय थर्टी सेवेंथ एपिसोड एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कवर द टॉपिक हाउ टू रिड्यूस लॉसेज इन लीफी वेजिटेबल्स बाय प्रॉपर हैंडलिंग एंड पैकेजिंग फ्रेंड्स एज यू आर अवेयर दैट लीफी वेजिटेबल्स इन विच spinach fenugreek greek mint coriander dill leaves etc comes they are highly perishable and they deteriorate very fast in ambient temperature you cannot keep them for longer period because they contain high amount of water and also they respire very fast and because of this the deterioration is very fast in these items but what i am going to tell you today the technique by which if you will follow that you can preserve the leafy vegetable for longer period and you can reduce the losses in this item drastically it has been seen that in the entire supply chain of leafy vegetables the losses are around 40 to 50% in this loss 10 to 15 percent take place in the field, and rest take place during transportation, or in the stores, or in warehouse, or at consumer end. So, by using this technique, you can reduce this loss from 50 percent to 5 percent or nil. Only you have to see all the points which I am going to cover in this, because. i am going to cover all the point from harvesting till it reaches to the consumer end so at every point you have to take special care to manage the quality of leafy items the first point comes harvesting friends along with this speech i am showing you all the photographs for better understanding that how this process should be adopted at field at shop and in supply chain so as i told you the first point is harvesting harvesting is very important practice it is very important that harvesting should be done only in the cool hours of the day in the morning or evening when the temperature is low and also we should harvest at proper maturity stage when the crop is fully developed and ready for harvest after harvesting the leaves should be kept on tarpaulin or some sheet of plastic sheet in the field after that the next process is bunch preparation or bunch making this is a simultaneous exercise harvesting side by side bunch preparation can be done so for making bunches all undesirable leaves yellow leaves or weeds etc should be removed and bunch should be made bunch size can be as per the requirement of the market it can be 250 g or half kg for fenugreek or palak and for coriander and mint it can be 50 to 100 g for making bunch you can use uh, some thread at that thread when we are putting making the bunch should not be tied very tightly we should tie that thread for making bunch little light little not very tight so the air flow should not be stopped so after bunch are prepared the next exercise which is very important is washing because you know that leafy vegetables should be clean it is directly consumed or it is cooked so no dust particle or mud should be stick to that so proper washing should be done for leafy vegetables before sending to the warehouse or shops for washing 
two methods can be used. One, either you can put the bunches in the water tank. In some tank, we can put some uh, clean water and little bit chlorine also, some 5-10 ppm chlorine also we can add. So, if infection is there, it can be removed. So you can do the washing either in the tank or best method is if some two well is there in the field to so buy running water. If you do the washing by running water, it is a best because in running water, the water absorption in the bunches will be lesser. So after washing, the next step is to drain out the excess water. So you can see in the picture how we are draining this excess water. For draining the water, you have to just place the crates, plastic crates in once bunches are kept in a slanting position, just adjoining the wall. So by doing this, all water will come out on the bottom and because crates are perforated, so all water will go out. After that, we should do little bit drying and drying can be done with the natural drying. We should keep the crates with the leafy vegetables in open air under cold condition, under shade. So the, it is dry. When bunches are dry, then these crates should be carried inside the collection center. You can see in the picture or it can be carried if there is a no collection center, room is not there, you can put these crates under shade or under big tree where no sunlight comes directly. So friends, next point which is very important is packaging. Before using this packaging which is a special type of packaging which I am going to show you. Please understand why we are doing this packaging. Friends, when leafy vegetable is handled by the customer at the vegetable shop, most of the customer touch the bunches from the leaves. And when 5, 10, 20 customer touch the leaf, so leaf become bad dirty and is spoiled and after some time the turgidity of leaves gone and leaves become wilty. So to protect the leaves from the direct touch of the consumer we are using this packaging. In this packaging you have to take one tube type of only thin pack which will be around uh, one and a half foot for the spinach or palak bunches and for other items for coriander etc smaller size can also be used so this tube is basically open from both the side you have to take this tube in left hand and from the right hand just place the bunch inside that tube. By putting leafy bunch in the tube, the leafy vegetable is open from both the sides. Now, from the area where bunch is tied, from that area we have to put one rubber band on top of this tube so the tube does not fall from the bunch. So by doing this, you can see the, this that uh, leafy bunch is looking just like a bouquet. When you go for uh, to purchase some flower bouquet, you can find this type of packing. So leafy bunch will look like bouquet. It will look very beautiful. So this packing, after packing the leafy bunches in the polytube, place all these bunches in the crate either in slanting position or in vertical position. Please remember the packing should not be very tight 
should be loose, so proper air circulation should be there. And after that, we should cover the crate with a wet cloth. By this way, the same crate should be carried to the packing house or warehouse from the collection center and from there it can be sent to the stores. At stores, it should be displayed in the same packaging. You can see this packaging, how beautiful it is looking. When customer will buy this, they will not be able to touch the direct leaves. They will touch the polythene bag. So it will not destroy, it will not become bad by touching more and more customers and quality will be preserved. Friends, this packaging looks very good. It does not cost very high, hardly for one rupees or even less than one rupees, one bunch packing can be done, but it is saving a lot of money. By doing this or by using this packaging, you can save 30-40% losses at the store and also because it looks very nice the sale of leafy vegetables also increased. I hope by adopting this technique which is covered from the care of produce from harvesting till it is reaches to the store if you will follow all the steps properly you can maintain the quality and you will be able to reduce the losses drastically. So friends, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to press the like button. If you have any suggestion, you can write in the comment box. So next time I will bring more video on different topic. Till that time, Please be happy, keep smiling and be, remain healthy and keep watching my YouTube channel Arun Mehta Kwaski Talk. Thanks for watching. Jai Hind.